Yo, Yankees fans, how's it going? This is Felix from NYNews.com. Make sure you share the site. Up to the minute news on the New York Yankees and rumors. Yankees fans, let's talk about the most latest trade that the Yankees have made. Trading for Brandon Drury, a three-way trade with the Arizona Diamondbacks. We have been forecasting that the whole season, all off-season long, that the Yankees were good trade partners with the Diamondbacks. If you ask me, this trade looks similar to the trade the Yankees made with the Mariners to obtain Dustin Ackley. This also reminds me of the Aaron Hicks trade. Ackley, who is now basically retired, who was projected to be a supposedly a good major league outfielder, but never came into his own in the major leagues. He was, like, drafted number one. Then another high draft pick in Aaron Hicks that Cashman liked and still likes. So, wow, I don't know, man. This is another player that fits those names. Brandon Drury. Aaron Hicks, yes, we saw flashes of his potential greatness last year. But... Like I keep saying, this Drury trade is very similar to those other two trades. Players that Brian Cashman likes and can see them being successful on the Yankees. You can say the same thing for a D.D. Gregorius, but I don't see it that way. I think the Yankees were just going to trade for Gregorius and just fill him in there at shortstop and then sign a player via free agency or make another trade. In my opinion, they didn't expect Didi to turn out the way he has turned out. A good clubhouse guy. He does great with the media. He filled in pretty well for Derek Jeter, and he still has a lot of upside. And really, guys, we haven't seen the best yet from Didi. So, yes, Drury has a lot of extra base hits, a lot of doubles. I can see why the Yankees were fascinated with him those doubles can translate into home runs at Yankee Stadium. But the thing here is that on the road, if you compare him to his home stats, it's not that good. He did way better at home playing over there in Arizona. So who knows? Who knows how Drury is going to work out for the Yankees? Personally, if you look at it in a positive way, He's under your control for a few more years. He's affordable. But the Yankees had similar players on the come up that could have done the same job as him. Maybe not with all that power. Like I said, he had a lot of extra base hits. Drury did. A lot of doubles like over 35 or something like that last year. And the year before that, like 31. But you had similar players such as Wade. And let's not forget about Andohar and Torres. I guess the Yankees, again, like I've been saying numerous times, are not in love with Andohar. And it has to make you think that Torres is not going to start the season playing second base. I think they're probably, possibly going to leave him there at Triple A for quite some time. Remember, he's coming off of Tommy John surgery on his catching arm, and he's 21 years of age. So. Guys, we might be seeing Danny Espinosa start over there at second, but I would like Drury at second base. I think he'll be a phenomenal second baseman on the Yankees. I don't see him as a third baseman. I can see him being pretty, pretty good on the Yankees as a second baseman. So what does this mean for Torres? This is why I don't understand the move to obtain Drury. You already had a third baseman. You already had a second baseman. You already had a utility outfielder slash infielder in Wade. You had all these pieces, and you decided to just stack your team up yet again. For I don't know for what reason, because they didn't trade players to replace them with. They basically DFA'd Blash, who in my opinion would have been a great trade chip to include in some sort of package. They just DFA'd him. He even obtained the number 66 to duplicate Judge because it has been said around the major leagues that any team that picks up Blash 
a few tweaks here and there, he'll be a 40 home run plus guy. So I don't understand how the Yankees went after and got Drury to just stack up their team. It's already cluttered. You have Aaron Hicks in the outfield. You have Clint Frazier in the outfield. You have Jacoby Ellsbury in the outfield. Let's not forget about John Carlos Stanton, who needs to see time in the outfield. You have Aaron Judge. You have all these players, not to forget Brett Gardner. And you're stacking up your team yet again and making it cluttered. And now players like Andahar, Torres are a question mark. And also, Drury can play first base as well. Let's not forget about uh, Austin over there at first base backing up Bird. So it's really, I don't, I don't understand this trade, guys. I know Drury has a lot of upside to him. Those uh, extra base hits really catch my eye. That's a positive for me. But the Yankees already had all the pieces. So if this trade doesn't lead to another one, it makes absolutely no sense, to be quite honest with you guys. Picking up a Drury, if you're not going to obtain starting pitching, which uh, Brian Cashman has mentioned today that he's still out there looking for a starting pitcher. Like I said, guys, um, is there a chance, though, that the Yankees – Go after Mike Moustakas? Yes, definitely. But then again, the team has been stacked in a way that you're not going to give Torres an opportunity. You're not going to give Wade an opportunity. And I heard Cashman talk about that Brian Drury is going to be the first one in line to be the Yankees' third baseman. But he's going to be there to compete. So if anybody else beats him to the punch, they might start off at third. But knowing Cashman, when he's in love with a player... He's going to stick with them. Is it a good idea? In my opinion, no, because Aaron Hicks still has improved himself. We all know what happened to Ackley. You know, Cashman was high on him too. Having two players that Brian Cashman has obtained via trades to experiment with, I don't know, it puts more pressure on Cashman, in my opinion. You already had a whole bunch of your prospects in the form system developing for these positions that you made trades for, and now they're still on your team. So it's going to be a real head-scratcher if the Yankees don't trade away some of these prospects because, really, they're not going to see the light of day on the Yankees with this Drury trade. I don't see the Yankees obtaining a free agent in any fashion unless they move money. They obviously need money to spare just in case something happens. And Ellsbury seems like the old man out yet again. But then again, you have individuals like Brett Gardner who could be moved easily. And the Yankees wouldn't have to pay his salary. Another team would pick it up. So, again, this Drury trade of me, he's great. He's a great player. I love the fact that he has a whole bunch of extra base hits. He does strike out a lot. But... Then again, you have to scratch your head and ask yourself, the Yankees already had the pieces on their team, players that could do what Drury does in each position. So adding him really makes no sense unless the Yankees have another move to make. In my opinion, they do flip some of these prospects. Like I said, if they don't, the Drury trade makes absolutely zero sense. Also, the Orioles just signed Colby Rasmus to a minor league deal. No, I do not think he's going to be there every day. Left fielder, or right fielder, or center fielder, or whatever position they obtained them for to play. He has horrible numbers. So, yes, people, Ellsbury to the Orioles is still that play. I don't see the Orioles settling for Colby Rasmus. I see them making more moves. They also want a left-handed pitcher. I mean, in my opinion, the Yankees should just put the Orioles out of their misery and make a move. The Orioles need to copy what the Rays have done and make a trade in their own division. If they don't, the Orioles are the most pathetic, dumb baseball team in all of baseball because they could have had a huge overhaul moving Machado at this point, even to the Indians. I don't know what they're holding out on. 
I guess they want to sell seats. I guess they want to advertise Machado for his last year on the Orioles. They want to put people in the, in the seats. But if you ask me, the Orioles are one of the most dumb Major League Baseball teams out there. I mean, really, they could have had a huge hole. They could have rebuilt their franchise. Maybe it does still happen. Who knows? But like I said, his jury trade as of now makes absolutely no sense unless the Yankees are planning to make another trade for a starting pitcher. Like I said, folks, great player, but on this team as of now, he makes absolutely no sense. Other players now have to compete for whatever job they were guaranteed. So like I said, folks, it makes absolutely no sense to me. But let's see if the Yankees make more moves. So, like always, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Felix from mynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.